So we are trying to find out the PDF probability density function. Uh, so subject to obviously uh, some conditions. So the, here the subject to expected value of x is mu, and the expected and the variance is uh, sigma squared. Uh, so I don't know whether we you recall this. I gave you the definition of uh, entropy as minus uh, expected value of log of fx. So this is g of this is a function of x. A minus of this is gx. So if that is the case. By definition, this would be integral minus log f of x multiplied by so remember minus log f x is g x so integral g x f x d x. So this is the definition of entropy. Why this particular definition? It's a discussion for some other time. But let's take this as. Entropy is a measure of a disorder. So we want to uh, we want, so here the problem is we want to maximize this. The unknown is the density function itself is unknown, but subject to these two conditions. That's the problem. So so the problem is what is the probability, you understand the problem, what is the probability density function uh, that uh, maximizes the entropy. So if you take entropy as a measure of disorder, uh, then uh, subject to the mean and variance. So mean and variance is given. So somehow on maximization of this, we want to bring in these conditions. So the best way to bring in is uh, through Lagrange uh, multiplier. So a constraint, this is a constraint optimization problem. Why is it optimization? Because we are trying to maximize this. Why is it constraint? Because you have these two constraints. This is of course the variance. So you will mean and variance uh, find the distribution that the maximizes. So I'm going to uh, so, so, uh, the usual technique is to uh, remember, so the mean is already, you don't need this because by writing like this, the mean is already imposed here. Because if this is the variance, this must be the mean. By definition, random variable minus its mean squared expected value. So really, uh, I just need to maximize this subject to this. So I'm going to, the uh, way to write this would be, so, so what is it, minus log fx. In order not to have confusion, I'll put f on this side. So I don't know whether you are familiar with uh, constrained optimization. So this was on the your maximization function, look here, it's exactly the same, except that I add the constraint in this form. It says constraint is, this is the equation for the variance. So the variance minus this, you bring it and uh, put an unknown here. This is called the Lagrange multiplier. So this is unknown. And of course, uh, uh, the mu is known. So f is unknown, we are trying to find out, so we want to maximize this. So formula, so I can rewrite this before I do this as integral. And for reasons it will become clear, remember this is a constant, let me, uh, re why don't you sit down? Uh -oh. Oh. 
for reasons that this will become clear let me write that constant as 1 over 2 line you don't have to or 1 over 2 mu you don't have to it's just a constant so right you can turn it upside down this form so what I did was I took this expression and I, 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 I uh, consolidated all the integrals together fine So now formally I am going to remember f is unknown, so I am going to take the partial derivative with respect to f. So think of f as f is the variable now, functional variable. And when it, because this integration is from minus, minus, minus infinity plus infinity, this uh, de uh, derivative goes inside. So look here, I need to take the derivative of this with respect to f, right? So I need to take minus, it doesn't really matter, so I need to take the derivative with respect to f of this quantity. So you know, let's do the derivative. So, the, so by chain rule, f over, uh, so this will be fx over fx uh, plus the uh, derivative of this, so that will be log fx minus 1 over 2 lambda x minus mu. That's like a constant, and the derivative of this, this must be equal to 0. So this is 1. So the 1 I could take it to the other side. So I get here log of uh, fxx equal to minus 1 over 2 lambda Get rid of the logarithm, so you get fxx equal to is minus one e to the power minus, so that's a constant, and uh, so I'm going to instead of calling it e etc., I'm going to put it uh, this way. Uh, to two lambda. So we already get the density function of this thing. So you can see the bell-shaped curve has come. So we have two constants. We know if this is, uh, every, every, you know, the area under the density function is one. So this constant must be one. Anyone? If this is lambda here, what must be this constant? One over. So it's very good. So we we know that this constant must be. Uh, this comes to by virtue of the fact that the area under the density function is 1, right? Uh, so because area under the any density function is 1. So if you integrate uh, with a k here, this will come out to be 1 exactly. But we also, what is the, from this expression, what is the variance of x? Anybody? If, if this is the density function, what's the variance? Variance is uh, well, but that is given to be sigma squared. So this goes here. That's what the variance is given to be sigma squared. So we form the unknown constant the lambda or the Lagrange constant. So what's the whole point? So the whole point is the there are other ways to do this also, but this is uh, gives you. So we have the, the distribution that maximizes the entropy is a Gaussian distribution. So for a given mean and variance. So remember how mean and variance was included. Mean was included here and variance was included through a constraint optimization. 
So this is a normal density function with mu and sigma squared. So for given mu and sigma squared, the probability distribution function which maximizes entropy is Gaussian distribution. Any questions? You see the this is one proof as I said. There are other proofs also. So you see one more property of the Gaussian density function. So if the mean and variance are fixed, this density function has the maximum disorder because entropy is a measure of disorder. So if disorder shows, you can also interpret disorder as a measure of being unbiased, not biased towards anything. So if you say, uh, if you make a specific statement saying that something, then it's a too much, that's order, right? Or order. So if you, if the goal is to not to be biased, unbiased, you know, by, by bias I meant not to be in favor of one or the other. Then you want the, that means you don't want, <coughs> you don't want to specify a particular structure or order, or you want maximum disorder, then you come up with this density. 